All right, this stuff isn't required, but it makes working with Bash a lot more uh, intuitive and, and interesting. All right, so this is bonus stuff for tips and tricks. First thing is I'm going to talk about an alias. So I'm just going to type in the word alias. All right, so I've got a bunch here. These are all aliases that I set up um, the first one here, there's an alias for cd dot dot, and it is equal to cd space dot dot. All right, what that means is that if ever I accidentally type cd dot dot without a space, it will interpret it as this. All right, so an alias is just something you can type and give it a big longer code. All right. The one I use most often, you may have seen me use it, is LL. All right, so let me just type in that, LL. Blink. This is the same as me typing in LS dash space dash AHL group directory first. So when I type in LL, my terminal interprets it as this which is a convenient way of looking at things. It shows all files in human readable and does it in long format and then puts the directories up at the top for me. So LL, all right, there's all my directories. There's all my files, human readable, file sizes, alias. Whenever I type in LS just by itself, it does ls color equals auto. That's why I've got these nice little colors. Where directories are blue, zipped files are red, regular files are white. Um, and then media files like videos and sounds and stuff are in purple. There's a picture. All right. So that's kind of nice. Alias. Let me show you how to set these up. This gets a bit tricky. But if I type in LL here, well, first off, I'll do CD, enter. So I'm home, all right, whatever home is in your bash terminal. I type in LL. For you, it'll be ls.l. I'm looking for, oh, I need lsla, because I want hidden files also. I'm looking for a hidden file called .bashrc. Ah, there we are dot bash rc so any file or folder that starts with the dot is hidden but i can open that and edit it let me just take a look at it first cat dot bash rc all right dot bash rc is a file it's a special file that gets run the second you open your terminal so it runs everything inside here whatever code you've got all right so starting here, all right, uh, it'll run everything in here, including any aliases that I put in there. All right, so here's some aliases. So I've got one that's U. What that does is clear, then a new command. That's what the semicolon does. CD dot dot, then a new command, print working directory, and then lists all the files. So if I type in U, it's like up. It goes up one directory and shows everything. If I type in D, that's kind of like down for me. It's a little shortcut. Clears everything. CD hyphen means the previous directory you were in. And then lists everything. All right. So I've got all these aliases set up in my dot bash RC. If you want to add aliases, it's kind of simple. All right, you just need to open dot bash rc with some editor. Okay. So I use Notepad QQ because I'm on Linux. Notepad plus plus or Text Wrangler um, if you're on a Mac. Notepad plus plus if you're on a PC. However you want to do it, you just need to open that file. So another way 
is nano. This is a built-in text editor that you, ne you so you never leave your um, your terminal. Nano dot bash rc. That's going to open this file and let me edit. All right. So I can just add some aliases here. Okay. Alias. So you can just add that alias and you'll have LL. I'm going to make a stupid alias. FFF equals single quote ls star dot txt end quote. So now whenever I type in FFF, it's going to list all the text files that it finds. This is not particularly useful. I'm just showing you how it works. Okay, if I want to save this file as it is now, look down here. Control O is to write out. I don't know why they didn't call it save, but there it is. We're going to write this file as it is. And Control X is exit. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Control O. File name to write? Yeah, I want it to be bash RC still, because that's the one that gets run automatically. And then Control X. Exits. Okay. FFF, not going to work. How come? Well, bash rc hasn't been run. So I need to restart my terminal. Just going to close it, open it up, and then type in FFF. And look at that. It listed all the text files that it found there. Okay. If I want to remove an alias, I say nano dot bash rc bash rc. I'm going to go down, find FFF. I'm going to put a little hashtag there that just means don't run this line of code. All right. So this pound sign hashtag means everything to the right. Don't worry about it. That's why I can type in git pull for data course. Right there. All right. Control O, right out. Control X, close it. Close that out. Open it back up. FFF. Doesn't work. Cool. I got rid of that alias. So that's it. aliases. Um, you can just Google handy bash aliases. So here's some handy stuff, I guess. I don't know if that's, wait, where are we? Those actually don't seem very handy, come to think of it. Maybe these are better. Yeah, these look better. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and post a list of my bash aliases. And you can browse through them, use the ones you want. All right, peace out.